It is time for Pittsburgh Penguins hockey, and the two-week wait is over. As the Penguins hit the ice at PPG Paints Arena for the first time in 2022 for a Sunday matinee against the San Jose Sharks. Jake Middleton and Eric Carlson on the blue line for San Jose. Pittsburgh attacks left to right. 2022 underway with your opening faceoff brought to you by number one Cochran. Go one better. Goes wide of the net, comes back up to the left side, picked up by Jonathan Dowling. He'll play it back down low. Kareem by Burns to the far corner, intercepted by Patterson. Outlets ahead for Rodriguez. He comes in down the left wing, far circle, cuts to the slot on the forehand, shoots. He scores! Erod kicks starting that hot rod into 2022. And the Penguins strike first just over a minute in. It's 1 0. What a goal this is by Erod. Oh, I don't know if I love the move or the shot better. I think I love the shot better because I heard a clunk and right underneath the crossbar. But what a move Erod puts on Radim Simic. The little stutter step, cut to the middle of the ice. Hang on, the patience of Job, Josh, to cut to the middle of the ice. And holy smokes, as he ripped the wrister underneath the crossbar over the blocker of James Reimer. It's one nothing, good guys. Second most on the team behind Timo Meyer, who's already matched his point total from last year at 31. Here comes Brian Russ down the right wing in the attacking zone. Curls it atop the crease, left circle, shooting and scoring is Jake Gensel. And you got Jake Shakes to start off the new year. The Penguins with two quickies out of the gate. It's 2-0 Penguins. Well, it's been a while. It's been a while since we've had a Jake Shake, and I'll be there tomorrow. 50% <laughs> off. Or well, two for one, you can get the BOGO, however you want to look at it. But Brian Russ flying down the right wing, and he gets to the bottom of the circle. And Jake, Jake Gensel, he just has this ability to disappear, just kind of go off the ice. And all the Sharks, know what they're doing? They're watching one guy. They're watching number 17, Brian Russ, and he finds Jake Gensel in the far corner. And before Reimer can get left to right, Jake puts it in. Two goals, two shots for the Penguins. Yeah, now eight goals in his last five games and six in his last three. <laughs> Look out. That's a lot of Jake shakes. Here comes Heinen. In on the attack down the right wing, and the slot passes down low. Rodriguez backhander shoots. He scores. Make it two for Erod. And the Penguins have come out of the new year on fire. It's 3 nothing. less than five minutes in. Holy moly. Evan Rodriguez is on fire! Oh, baby. Little forehand, backhand, Shelfie. Another one under the crossbar, over the blocker. Three goals, five shots. And now timeout by the Sharks here. They are absolutely stunned. They're still in the hotel sleeping right now. That's it back to the point for Dumont. He'll swing it across right side. Let's hang a wrist shot blocked. Comes to Rust in the slot, snaps it on goal, he scores! Brian Rust finds the back of the net, and everyone's being welcomed back with a goal this morning, afternoon. It's 4-0. That's what you want to see from the Penguins. A lot of teams, when they get down early, they call the timeout, and sometimes the texture of the game changes. Not here. The Penguins, they're staying dialed in, and they're keeping the pedal to the metal. They get a lucky bounce on this one as Brian Rust gets a puck right in the slot. And I tell you what, the Sharks, they're like a fish out of water right now, and they don't know whether to cry or whine their watch, as Mikey used to say. And the Penguins, I don't think they're going to let up here. They're just going to keep pouring on. Cuts up the left wing, flips it high in the air over the glove of Couture, and it bounces out the center. Vlasic over the Penguin logo, comes back in down the left side, hands it off to Meyer just inside the line, skips it to the goal, deflected towards the net, and they score. Alex Barabanov from atop the crease puts it home for San Jose. They're on the board. It's 4-1. I think that was Timo Meyer that was coming up for his defenseman, pinching down the left wall and just threw it towards the front of the net. And Barabanov got away from the check of Marcus Pedersen. Pedersen really had no idea where the puck was. His back was turned to that left point position. And Barabanov knocks the puck out of midair, right about thigh high. And knocks it down to himself, and boy, calm, cool, collected. 
he just gingerly put that in the empty net as Casey the Smith overcommitted and did not think Barabanov was going to be able to knock that puck out of midair. He does. It's 4-1. Puck down to our right in the penguin in the uh, shark zone. Penguins digging for it. Zahorna to the far side. Tracked down by Ruedel. Throws it behind the net. Sam Lafferty near side. Zahorna centers in front. Bjorkwist puts it on goal. He scores! Bjorkwist on the board. The first goal of the NHL career for Casper Bjorkwist. And it's 5-1. Oh, uh, there's nothing like that smile. I'll tell you what, I know we're on radio. But I hope you have the goosebumps that I have right now. That is an unbelievable feeling for Casper Bjorkwist in his first National Hockey League game. He comes to the bench for the fist bumps, Josh, and I don't think you can have a bigger smile ear to ear. Oh, man. He barely gets enough of it, and it rattles around between the pads of Reimer and trickles in. I still don't think it hit the back of the net. Who cares? First National Hockey League goal for Casper Bjorkwist, and it's 5-1. Penguins. Penguins get it back. Pedersen back down low for Gensel at the far circle. Across for Pedersen. Left wing shoots and just misses. Comes back to the right point. Marino. Center point. Rust drives one. Change direction and they score. Rust put it on goal. It bounces past Reimer into the back of the net. That's two for the Rusty Razor. Penguins have six. It's 6-1. Six Not only do we have 50% off Jake Shakes, you know what that goal is? The Big Mac goal. Yeah. That's a Big Mac for everybody in the house. They're on their feet. You got to be good to be lucky and lucky to be good as Brian Russ just rips one towards the cage. It hits either one or two sharks on the way in. And James Reimer just doing everything he can. The splits, try to throw the blocker up in the air. The puck was in slow motion. It finds its way over the blocker of James Reimer. 6 1 Penguins. Tries to get it away from the pressure of Barabanov, does. It pinballs back to the point for Marino, into the slot he goes, holding it, a lot of patience. Back to her feet, a shot and a save made by Sobchenko as he slides across and robs O'Connor and hangs on. On the near half wall, down low for Benino, pushes back to the right point for Burns. Into the slot for Gregor, right side Benino. Back to Burns, he'll blast one, scores! Brent Burns with a bomb from the high slot, a power play goal for San Jose. It's 6-2. Nick Benino will have his first point against the Pittsburgh Penguins in his career. And that's what Brent Burns can do. I mean, this is similar to a Chris Letang shot, where it's not a full windup. You almost feel like he's just trying to get it towards the cage. I'm not sure if that might have hit Noah Gregor on the way in, did it? No, that's straight in. There's just traffic in front. It was just a, it's just a howitzer. I mean, it's six foot five, about 235. When he gets that flex in the stick, the way that Brent Burns can, it's just a, it's like a rising fastball, and it just goes up or sails up over the glove of. Casey Smith, it's now 6-2. Came in in the second period in relief of James Reimer. Stopped all eight Penguin shots he saw in the second frame. His team comes up ice. Here's Middleton in the slot. Nieto, a drive wide. Bounces off the end wall. Off to Smith and into the net. Wacky bounce there as it careens off the side of Casey DeSmith's pad into the back of the net. And 20 seconds into the third period, the Sharks make it 6-3. That hit right off the FedEx logo to the right of Casey the Smith on the back wall, hit the side of the net, then hit Casey in the pants, and Brian Russ was there with a the stick. One, two whacks at it by Brian Russ. It jumps right over the stick. You talk about crazy bounce, that's as crazy as it gets right there. 6-3. That's a big goal for San Jose. Because now suddenly, they have the last two in this game. And the Penguins have not scored. I mean, granted, it was a sixth spot, but they have not scored since the first period. Flips it left wing. He connects with Meyer over the attacking line. Back across. Carlson, right circle, winds it. Blast, scores! That got by to Smith. Eric Carlson makes it 6-4. Three minutes and one second into the third. This is why I said what I said to begin the third period. Because I've just seen it too many times. And now they have life. Lots of time left. 
16-59, you're only down by two. And I tell you what, Casey Smith, I don't know what that hit on the way in. I think it hit something. I'm not sure. It jumped over Casey the Smith. And that came on the heels of two big, big saves by Sachenko. And fires cross ice for Shimmick. Over the line, drops it for Meyer into the near side circle. The puck bounces to the near corner. Shimmick cross ice pass. They score. Logan Couture atop the crease all alone. We got a one goal game. It's 6 5. Sports are crazy. That's why we love sports. Chad Ruedel got high sticked in the face. He went over to the referee with his hand to the face looking for the call. He was out of the play and all by himself is Logan Couture. Everybody watching the puck. Nobody watching Couture. No chance for Casey DeSmith. 6-5. Here we go. We said there have been some wild ones post-Christmas. Yeah. San Jose was involved in one of those just last week, an 8-7 win against Arizona. And the Sharks knock it back into the Penguin zone. So it's now a one-goal game. They'll let it go to the right point for Latang. Connects with Rust. Backhands to Latang. Right point. Left side, Rodriguez. Skate to stick. Shoots. Scores! And the first HT of the career for Erod makes it 7-5 on a PPG for PGH. Throw the hats. Get it to the net. Make something happen. Keep it simple. Let's start off with a really good board work by Brian Rust. To get it back to Chris Letang at the center point, good crisp passing. Get it to Erod, right hand shot, left side of the ice. It's a quick, hard release. I think Sachenko thought he was going to get directed by Jake Gensel, but Jake kind of dummies the play, lets it go right between his legs. It fools Sachenko and goes just inside the far post for the HT for Erod and a 7 5 lead for your Pittsburgh Penguins. Here's Burns with it. Swoops behind there with 18 seconds to play. Fires near side, picked off by Gensel, drives it out the center, it comes to Rust. He's got two, he's got three. Hat trick, Brian Rust, do you have any hats left? <laughs> Throw them if you got them. It's 8 5. <laughs> oh man, you had a feeling. What a crazy day this is. You're up 6 1, it's 6 5, now it's 8 5. I tell you what, if you bought a ticket to this game, you got your money's worth and some. Fifth hat trick of the career for Brian Rust. The hats are still coming down, folks. They had a feeling somebody saved them. <laughs> but I just like the way the Penguins just rolled up their sleeves and just went back to work. And they protected that lead and never let the Sharks get even. Final seconds tick down. It's a Sunday fun day in Pittsburgh because we got a two-point party on Fifth Avenue. Pens kick off 2022 with an 8-5 victory over the San Jose Sharks. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has just left the building.